Alright, and off we go. Okay, this is now Umbrella's lab. There is, you can't do anything with that lift down here. That is not accessible at this point in the game. There's nothing on the train, so go through here to the main shaft. Open the door. Excuse me, while I burp again. Head straight across into the main area. It's all turned off, as you can see. Go through the blue light, follow the walkway, and go straight through the door at the end. Now, you're doing this for a reason, so don't worry too much. You turn, we're on our way to turn the power on. Now, follow this walkway. You'll see a shutter that you can't do anything with. This door, I believe, is locked with a card key. Yep, it's locked with a card key. Follow the corridor around, and you will come to a giant freezer. Go into the freezer. It's the only door on this corridor you can do anything with at this point in time. Uh, so go in here. Basically, it is just a giant freezer. Now, walk around the corner. There's a first aid spray. I'm going to take it because I've got a funny feeling for the last boss fight I'm going to be carrying a first aid spray or two just to be safe. Uh, there's no ammo in this room. Take the fuse case off of the cart, turn around and go to the light. Uh, so you could use a superconductor fuse if you had a case, make sure you're in the right place. Use the fuse case and it's done automatically. Watch as it makes you a superconductor fuse. Blah, 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 blah. This bit's always good fun. Now, um, the next, this section is going to be over pretty quick if I can remember the right way to go. Um, leave, you, you're about to use the weapon box key pretty soon, but I say leave the weapon box key in your chest because you find a chest pretty soon where you can take it out. Yeah, that wasn't Magnum Bullets, okay. And you can now leave here. There is nothing else to do in this room. You literally just come here to get the fuse. Go outside, run all the way back to the main area with me. There's nothing to fight, so don't worry too much about fights yet. Go all the way along here, blah, 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 blah. Go along here, go back out the door. Now, you won't ever fight anything in the area out here. You do an outbreak. If you play Resident Evil Outbreak and you come here, um, near the end of this level there will be hunters, and if you come out here earlier, there will be a moth, the giant moth, which I'm going to fight soon. But... Use the fuse case, stick it in, power turns on, Bob's your uncle, that's that done. Um, go through the red light this time, run all the way along the bridge and go through the door at the end. Now on the topic of the moth, I will explain it quickly now, you don't have to fight it, but I'm going to, because I may very well do Claire's B scenario, um, just to show you what it is. Now, back there you saw a red light on the wall. Don't go through that red light yet. Follow the corridor and go through the door at the very end. Not the one on the left, go through the door at the end. Um, I'm about to take you somewhere where there is a weapons cache. If you raid this locker, you will find a Leon unique weapon of a flamethrower. Now, I'm... Do I want to take that to show you what it is? I'm actually going to take the flamethrower. It's only got 100%. It's a pretty useless weapon, in all fairness. But I don't care. Um... Anti-gas. Turn on the anti-BOW gas because it helps um, take the note off the thing. It basically tells you how to use the computer. I'll explain that when I get there. Over in the corner, you'll find a researcher's corpse and he's poured oil. Use your light. Well, actually, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to use the flamethrower. If you watch, you can go and set fire to the plant because it's in the way. Plant will die pretty quick. Re-equip your shotgun. The only problem with the flamethrower is ammo goes way too fast and there's no reload. That short burst that I just fired was 6% of my ammo gone. So I'm not going to, I'm hardly going to use that, but it's Leon's counter to the plants. Go through the shoot, have your shotgun ready. As soon as you land, you don't even have to listen, don't bother listening. Prep your gun and fire because there's two hunters in here. As you can see. That's both of them dead. I didn't even have to do anything. They're right next to each other, so a shot, two shots will kill them. One of them got a little bit too close to attacking me, in all fairness, but never mind. This is... I'm not sure if the gas, the anti-bow gas, um, helps at all, but I turn it on anyway. Now go to the silver locker. Open the silver locker, and there's 14 shotgun shells. Now, I've already got more than enough shotgun shells to last me now to the end of the game, because that's a good... That's over five full reloads, and it's a, you know, it's a good number. Go to the door, you'll unlock it. This is why you don't go through that door the first time, because it's locked. 
unlock it, go back out into the corridor. Now, I'm going to equip my flamethrower because there is a plant coming up. Now, as you can see, the screen is now slightly green. It's got a green tint to it, which basically means the anti-bow gas is turned on everywhere. Head to the red light, press the shutter switch, and you will see two plants. Now, you're not, thankfully, you're not in that shot, but uh, run out of the way a little bit, turn around, and basically wait for them to throw poison at you. Torch them. Oh, they got me crap. Okay, torch them. That's, seriously, that's the most pointless weapon in the game. I don't know why I picked that up. Get your shotgun out and blow them in two. Now, that was a very stupid mistake on my part. I should not have done that. The flamethrower is pointless. It can't even kill those plant things because they still attack you as you're firing. So I've got two slots in my inbound where I can't do anything with them now. But basically, word of advice, don't, if you take the flamethrower, don't use it. Uh, what time are we on? Six minutes. Ah, there's a plant. Basically, two shotgun shells will now pretty much kill everything in existence because this gun is so overpowered. Thankfully, that plant did not now, that plant can actually poison you, which is a very, very bad thing. Um, I'm going to take these green herbs. I'm not, am I going to combine them? I'm going to use one of them because running around on caution in this area is not smart. Uh, make sure I'm on fine, reloaded shotgun. And now, be careful of those plants, because even when they're dead, if you walk over them, they can still whip you. It's pathetic damage, but be careful. Go down the ladder, ignoring the ridiculously big plant in the centre of the screen, because there's nothing you can do about that ever. Go down the ladder, make sure you're not caught drinking when you get to the bottom. Go through the door. Now, that plant, there seriously is nothing you can do with that plant, so you can admire it, but don't bother. Uh, go through the door, keep your shotgun ready. Yep, there is liquors in this area. If I remember rightly, one falls out of the roof. Shoot him in the face, wait for him to get up, come towards you. Two shots, he's dead. Now his mate is sat at the corner. I'm going to reload my shotgun. There is a total of, I think, don't quote me on this. Whoa, that's not fair, run away, bail. Pretty much run. Really, really fast because if that happens, they're going to catch you off guard. Now, I don't normally run out of the area. I could have turned around and shot at them, but one of them was about to jump. Go back out here. Catch your breath. It was a little bit annoying that Hunter got stuck on the corner and I couldn't aim at him. So that was a bit of a stupid mistake on my part to make. Uh, go back in the room. Fire this. I've now neutralized the Hunter that drops out of the roof. I can run a little bit further along the corridor. Aim up the gun. I... Wasted a shotgun shell, fantastic. Combine that in. Now, I should be able to take out these hunt these liquors without being hit this time. If I wait a second. There you go, he's coming around the corner. But not enough for me to hit him. Okay, run forward a bit. Ah! I'm wasting shotgun shells left, right and centre here. Basically, when you come through here, you can just run around the corner. But I'm going to wait for him to come into view. Come on, you bastard. As you can hear, there's actually two of them. There's not one. Reload your gun. I'm going to be a silly boy and use that green herb because I don't care. Uh, go a bit further up. I still can't aim at them. Go up. Turn. Fire. There you go. Now I can. Move back a little bit because the screen jumped. As you can see, the shotgun's kick is monstrous. It, like, blows you back a, a full step. Um... I'm having real problems in this area, Jesus. Run out here. Move. Kill that guy. Wait for him to get up. Ah, no! No! Ah, crap! There you go. That's one way to deal with that problem. <laughs> that was the worst run in that room I have ever seen in my life. That was atrocious. Do not repeat that debacle, I will call it. Uh, basically, there's a total of three liquors in this area. There's also three green herbs. Uh, I'm going to use one of them because I'm on caution again. I, I hate running around this area on caution because so many things can just kill you. Grab all three herbs because I don't mix them just yet, I don't think. I've got herbs in my um, chest, but I don't, excuse me, I don't care. Run along the corridor, ignoring the screen, and go through the door. This is a save room, I think. If I'm remembering right, this is a save room. So I think it is, yes it is. There you go, run around here. Now, it doesn't matter that you've got a full invent because it's, you know, it's seriously of no concern. Run all the way around. Now, that blue light, check the blue light and you'll get a map of the lab. File it. 
Turn around, go over here, access your chest. Now from the chest, you want to basically get rid of that piece of crap flamethrower and take out the weapon box key, because you're about to use that. Um, have I got a spare green herb? I've got one, two green herbs. Okay, I'm now going to mix... I should have dropped that first aid spray off. Mix the two green herbs. Basically ditch the green herb, the one of the green herb mixes in the F8 spray, because it's of no use. And I'm going to have to cool it after I leave this room, because I'm going to run over. Get rid of that. There you go. Four items in your inbound. Go through the door on your right, and I will meet you in the next room.